Hey guys, this is Radigast the Third bringing you another commentary between I Come for Peace in the bottom right hand side of the map and Lord Otto 93 in the top left. Uh, Lord Otto is a player that I met a few days ago. I was sitting in an online room asking for pro players to come and he came and we chatted for a while and I watched a bunch of his games. The special thing about him, he is number two on the 1v1 ladder. He was number one for like a month or so, he says, but now he's number two so yeah that's his background and you'll notice he's starting with a really unorthodox opening he's got one two three malone trees and there we go four malone trees already whereas i come for peace went standard with uh malone tree over here and then a barracks getting an archer up. and yep there's a the second malone tree so Already, it's Lord Otto's like, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Five mile entries. <laughs> yeah, I saw this. I was watching this live with, I, I don't know, two or three other observers, and we were like, what the heck is he doing? So he's coming over here. <laughs> Six mile entries. This guy's out of his mind. But yeah, he's that good, and you'll see in a minute. I'm not going to spoil anything, but this all definitely has a. This build has purpose. And Byron, uh, excuse me, I come for peace. Um, training up his Midland sentries, which means that he's going to be playing a little more passive, going around the map creeping, going up to these like board layers, and killing them for the resources that can be gained from that. <laughs> Seven mountain trees. This guy's on the roll. Coming over here. And yep, you have seriously just witnessed someone building eight mountain trees without building a barracks. This is probably the most stupendous thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, I come for a piece, came over here with these archers, and I microed them around a little and was able to kill the wargs without taking any damage. So now he's got level two archers, soon to get all this money over here. And he's got Mithlin sentries somewhere around here. Those are actually back in his base. That those should definitely be coming up probably to this war layer to go ahead and take him out. <laughs> you kidding me right now? Another Malin tree. But if we go up here, we finally see the purpose of this. He is going to do the end rush. I've literally only seen this build one other time, and it was pulled against me, actually, on a 2 versus 2 map. Where, but it wasn't as bad as this. It wasn't as extreme of a rush. This is literally ent moot before barracks. He's probably coming back here to build the barracks next. So let's see how many resources he has. Uh, yeah, this is Otto. He's <laughs> he's crazy. He's literally got all these resources stored up, and now he's just building his first end. And ooh, bad bad. bad. That's okay, he didn't really do anything. He's weakened a lot of it. But yeah, I come for pieces just playing standard, building up a nice variety of units. One sword, one pikes, two archers. And then, pretty soon, he's either gonna push out or just wait for Otto to come in here and destroy Otto's forces, and then go ahead and start him. Now, Otto actually placed a beacon up here, just to kind of show us what he was doing, show the observers. So he's already got one ant out, and he's got a whole bunch of them ready. Yeah, another one already on the way. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, put it back on all players. So here we go, here comes a bit of a push. Uh, no, just gonna go into the wards out. Again, not a bad thing to do. Going for a lot of resources, so we might see an early forge. But, ah, there we go. He has already got encasing vines, the upgrade of your fort armor. Now, for elves, there's only two reasons to do that. You're expecting some kind of crazy siege rush, which, like dwarves. There might be a demolisher rush. Now, bear in mind they're both random, so he doesn't even know what race Otto is yet. So either you're doing that, or else you're doing something totally different which in a minute you will see again I'm not telling you guys anything <laughs> so Otto being funny taking out the troll with the end which works remarkably well getting all the money with the builder there 
and they're building another mountain chief. I love this guy. He's so creative. And so, yeah, Ant's actually own trolls because when the Ant kicks the troll, it knocks the troll off his feet. And the Ant just sits there and laughs at it and stomps it in the ground and one. And he's like, oop, bad idea. Yeah, I come for peace, got kind of lucky there when it happened. Uh, guess. I don't know. It wasn't even guesswork. He just kind of like sent his forces up there and he's like, yeah, let's see if there's something like that. Yeah, as you see, Pikes will actually demolish ends, which are the only things that will. Swords get demolished by ends. Archers can do a thing against ends. Cavalry don't do anything. Heroes even have some trouble sometimes. So Otto literally told us. He actually said it on the chat that, that everyone sees, including our company piece. He's just like, yeah guys, I'm totally not playing this standard. I'm just fooling around, having fun. And that's awesome. <laughs> He's building a green pasture. Does he have a barracks yet? Okay, finally has a barracks, but no units yet. Ah, there we go. One group of archers, and that's it. All he has aside from that is an end. Two ends. <laughs> Any green pasture coming. Uh, you tell me else, but I could stand there. And here's the secret of the encasing vines. He's actually getting an eagle's nest and going super fast tech to the giant eagle, which super duper annoying strategy and correct response. You're building more sentries to counteract these ants. But as soon as the eagle gets here, the eagle just, <laughs> yeah, these ants aren't a problem. Ouch. But Otto's like, hey, you know, might as well go for it. He knows he's not going to do any damage here, but he's just having fun. He's having fun and he's still playing with things as well. That's what I like about this game. Ow. That's trouble. The pike's level? Oh, not quite. So he's got a green pasture over here. He's like, yay, horses! But, keep in mind, I come for peace only as pikes right now, so... That's not so good. So he goes ahead and can't do that. And looking down here, Otto's trying to micro around the troll a little. A little bit of missed micro. Got almost all those killed, but it doesn't matter because they just reach level 2. So those can just recharge. And no big deal. <laughs> Running over with these three cavalry. He's like, yay! And it's actually kind of nice. I don't know if you might have done on purpose, but they were all spread out there so the eagle couldn't do area damage on them. Yep. Look at this mining. One, two, three. I'm not, I'm not even going to count them. There's way too much mining going on here by Lord Otto. Oh, no mining over here. Well, that's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> this is just fun. He's got three arches over here. So what is he doing with his money? Oh, there we go. He's... <laughs> He's getting a counter eagle and going for Mirkwood archers. I mean, what the heck? This guy went from an Edmoot to the green pasture, and now he's getting Mirkwood archers. He's going for an eagle. Like, what else haven't we seen here? I don't know. Pretty soon you're going to tell me he's doing like a Thranduil rush or something, which, again, not a bad idea, but really unorthodox. Nice. Yep, each player is kind of building up their forces. I really disagree with this by I Come For Peace, where he only has one barracks right here. His income right now is... Yeah, it's pretty fast. So, look at... I was he's got a by ton of resources, too. I mean, melon trees. Oh, there we go. He got Arwen. We bring swords All right, that's Lorian. cool. I'll forgive him for that. How much is out of there? Oops. There we go. Yeah, plenty of money there, too. We come from Am I missing something? Ah, there we go. Doing a little eel for us. Uh, Mirkwood archers are very good versus eagles. And eagles are not too bad versus eagles. So, Otto wins that very handily. And gets his forge up and immediately starts upgrading. So, he's been sitting on his resources for a reason. Not even building units for him. And now he's gonna 